Ah, whatever. But hey, so <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the PFC After Dark, the show where the the after show to the podcast where we talk about more stupid shit. It's like four p.m. the after it's show to the after show. It's the after show to the after show. It's not even dark out. It's four p.m. What do you mean four p.m.? Fuck off, yo. You don't. That it's like fucking ten p.m. right now. Yo, we're on Eastern time. Yeah, we're not in Hawaii. Or. Our... <clears throat> Is it really 4 p.m. in Hawaii? I it's think it's pretty close. Yeah. No, it's like right. Is it what? It's yeah. the middle of current time right now. <laughs> Faith, did you actually? It's 5:15. 5:15 in Hawaii. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so it's I was close. Sorry. Yeah, so it's not even dark. I didn't know Hawaii was uh, <laughs> minus five. Yeah, it's five or six depending on the time of year. Huh. Interesting. Okay. No wonder it's not a state. No, Hawaii's not a state at all. They should just be their own country. They'd be better off that way. I mean, let's be honest. Is Hawaii really a state, guys? <laughs> Come on. No, yo, it's just it's just an active volcano where people go to die and kill themselves. Yeah, me too. It has Actually, only one of the volcanoes is active. Yeah, I know. But, hey, it's still the most active volcano on the Earth. I mean, we have Yellowstone, so... Hey, that's a super volcano, yep. though. Let's We're not sitting let's... on, like, the equivalent of, like, hundreds of nukes, so... Yeah, uh, hundreds. Kill us all. Sitting on like the equivalent of like hundreds of thousands of nukes. The like, initial re reaction will kill a third of the population. Is the yeah, estimate. Like they, they were saying, if and it will slowly die because we'll freeze to death. Yeah, they were saying if Yellowstone actually blew its cap, like most of America would be dead instantly, and the rest of the world would die off within like the next couple of weeks following that. Yeah, because of the. Also, it, it, it apparently only takes a hundred nukes to where the ash in the, yeah, in the sky and the atmosphere, yeah. uh, the ash would actually cause us to freeze. Yeah, we would go into a nuclear winter, and it would. Yeah, it, it apparently only takes a hundred nukes. Yeah, thanks, America. Just think, America has well over a hundred nukes at this point. Do we actually? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if we have a hundred. Of, of our emitted nukes, I be we are underneath Russia, I believe. Yeah, I don't think we have that I many in commission anymore, but I know at one point we definitely did. And then they started to decommission a whole bunch of them. But okay, it's four fifteen in the American Samoa. Is it? Really? <laughs> and New Zealand, yeah. And New yeah. Zealand. Oh man. So hey, hey guys from New Zealand, fuck you. It's not night yet by you guys, but nobody cares Jeez. about you. At one point, we had 31,000 nuclear warheads. Yeah. Did you say nuclear? Bitch, don't you dare correct me on English, Jews. <laughs> you pronounce your Y's like J's. Don't you don't even well, go back, there. Kind of it's pronounced head, nuclear. Apparently, we do have 4K of emitted nukes that are usable. Oh, do we still have that many? Wait, no, it says usable and not. At one point in time where I live, which is southwest Georgia, because we have, like, some, uh, I guess they're, like, ICBM, like, silos, like, around where I live, because we have a, uh, like, a military base here. If if there ever was, like, back in the day, if there ever was, like, uh, like nuclear Arm Armageddon, like, my city would have been one of the first cities that would have been nuked by the Russians. Yeah, you would have been a target. Yep. Yeah, you would have been literally wiped off the face of the earth in a matter of milliseconds. Yeah. First hit. Russia does have 200 more nukes than us. I mean, uh, we have 6,800 and 7,000. Let's be real here. Out of all these big giant numbers, it's like it's like you said before. It only takes 100 to wipe out humanity. So Once we do 100, we are, we're kind of done. Yeah. Um, so, like, you know, you could... That is the commie fuck didn't like my question. Oh, my God, count. Fuck off. But, no, seriously, it's like you could sprinkle, like, a nuke or two over here, a nuke or two over there... Just don't drop a hundred at the same time. Yeah. But aren't there also preventative measures of like shooting the nukes down, like while they're in midair, like well, flying? Yeah, but you're still not shooting... that many that are public, at least. You're still shooting stuff up into the atmosphere, though. So it's like. No, I mean you're not like if you if you blow up like an ICBM, like even if it's in the atmosphere, it's not gonna like cause a nuclear explosion. No, you no. Won't. If it detonates in the atmosphere. Yeah. That would be very bad, but... It would depend upon whether or not the ICBMs could detonate remotely, like in the atmosphere, if they knew that they were going to shoot them down. Yeah. If they if if we had a bunch of nuclear warheads detonate in our atmosphere, <clears throat> that would I'd be probably worse, actually. Yeah, because then you just have I'm shit pretty... raining down. 
I'm pretty sure that would also just take out our electronics as well. Uh, that would take so out hopefully that does, electronics, though. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen because that would fry everything. Totally. But if, what what happened? Happened? if we just launched a bunch of nukes and detonated an atmosphere. Oh. Even France has 300, so France alone can t yeah, literally. It's like if any one country, like a large powered country, really just wanted to fuck over everyone, they they literally could. Pakistan has 120 to 30. I'm Israel has 80, and that's scary. <laughs> oh god, Israel has 80? Yeah. And, that, and keep in mind, these are all only what they admit to having, so they probably have more. Well, I mean, yeah, like, You're... North Korea probably has, like, a shit ton that just nobody well, knows of. maybe. Uh, you gotta remember, they're also incompetent. Uh, I, well, yeah. I mean, I know they're incompetent, but they're not that incompetent. They're still humans. Well, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> You're all instilling the fear of Carl Sagan into me right now. <laughs> But, I mean, it's just a fact of life, though. It's like, this is what humanity has done to themselves. Like, we decided that, hey, nukes are going to be the next world war. If it ever happens... Well, no, we'll nukes are fun. used as a deterrent. They're not supposed to be used for actual warfare. Well, I, mean, I mean, well, I mean, that's the same thing that happened in the Cold War. But, like, that was well, the whole premise behind the Cold War, though. It was like, hey, Russia's got nukes pointed at you. Hey, the USA's got nukes pointed right back at you. Who's going to give first? And that's why Who's we had proxy it? wars. Who's that's why we had proxy wars like fucking Vietnam and in Korea. But we've also had tons of scares over the years where <laughs> satellite read would say that, oh, uh, like, I think it was Russia. Russia had read that we had fired nukes at them. Yeah, because there was like, uh, and uh, it, some sort of like testing program or something that they were doing. And it was it, like, it was a glare. We, we ha It was something that, that glared on the satellite and it kept on reading. Nukes are fired. And it went all the way down to the chain of command. Uh, and it was to the key bearers or whoever it was in the yeah. final stage. To the point where they were uh, ready they, to push they the button. And they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't, yeah. they wouldn't turn it. And it was, uh, thank God. They, couldn't, they couldn't bring themselves to turn it, and it turned out to be a falsified uh, thing, so. Yeah, there was another one where it was like, I think it was like on the U.S. side, where they were doing some, like, actual, like, testing and stuff like that, like, and for whatever reason... I think, like, one of their tests had gone wrong, and it had said, like, a whole bunch of their nukes had fired off, and they were like, oh my god, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck did they actually do? And they actually found out it was, like, it was, like, 20 or so odd minutes later after, like, all this chaos was ensuing, and, like, they were, like, calling up, like, all these other different countries and shit like that to when they found out, oh, it was just a test. That it went, like, terribly wrong. But it was, like, live, like, on their feed or whatever. Like, whatever they have that, like, they actually, like, use to monitor all their missile silos. It seems to me like the, the whole, like, nuclear uh, deterrence thing is just pretty much a larger presence version of, like, um, of, like, naval activity. Because, uh, like, back in, like, during the First World War, <laughs> the Americans were actually attacked, like, multiple times at sea. Like, uh, naval vessels were attacked by submarines. And uh, I think this it, didn't, it didn't actually get us into the war until the Lusitania happened. Like, that was the catalyst. But we had been attacked multiple times before then. Well, that's something you have to think of this way, though. America, even back in the day, though, we had the largest naval fleet known to man. No, so. we didn't. No, we didn't. Why? No, we didn't. Okay, besides no. that. <laughs> No, the Brit yeah, the British did. But what I'm saying and is, also the Japanese had... also had a huge fucking naval the fleet too. We they they fucked over the Russians fleet. and the Chinese. Well, they only got Turkey. their fleet though after we forced uh, because we we came in there with our with our big naval ships. Or was that the British? Uh, and we forced them oh, to. That was the British, but yeah, that was the British. I guess it's technically us though. But Anything still, that but the still, British did like... that were good was us. Still. But still, the point that I was getting at is <sighs> we still had such a massive fleet. It's like. You know, our ships were constantly out there. Yeah, they're bound to get attacked. Well, I mean, are we still talking about the First World War or the Second? Because it really, I don't know, you guys keep cutting out. I mean, I don't know. At that point, does it even really make a difference? It's like we still I mean, it huge, does make a huge we difference. We still had a huge naval most of, in both wars. Most of, most of, like, the United States naval fleet was destroyed in Pearl Harbor, like, the, like during the Second World War. That so. still didn't stop them for... You know, from literally going all the way across the Pacific and fucking over Japan. I know. It's like, you know, even even though most of our naval fleet was destroyed, our naval presence was still huge at the time. Yeah, well, I'm not denying that. Uh, even though the Japanese had the biggest naval vessel at the time. 
was it the Yamato? Yeah, didn't it get sunk too by us? Yeah. Well, that was after the war had been uh, won. Okay, listen, Fatty. Um, up until uh, World War One, the U.S. didn't have much of a military. Mm -mm. Nope. It had a civil guard. I mean, we, we did have a standing army, unfortunately, still, which is unconstitutional and has been since it's been fucking whatever. But no, um, we didn't have much of a navy when the world began. Yeah, but by the time the end of World War One happened, like our... our yeah, so we, by the yeah. time World War One ended, I believe, uh, maybe Brisk can back me up on here, but we were one of the biggest. Yeah. Yeah. Like our, By the end of World like War Two, we were the biggest. Yeah, like our production, um, like from the, the Germans one technically the had a. Was huge. They had a very. I'm, I'm sorry, I keep interrupting Fatty here. I'm sorry, you can go ahead. No, I was just saying it's like from the beginning of World War One to the end of World War One, it's like our naval presence went from being very minuscule to just absolutely enormous. It's like our production ratios over that just over that small like time frame in in history was. The the fucking monkey wrench in the in this whole thing is is submarines and the Germans had a whole lot of submarines and I don't believe I from recollection I don't believe that the Americans had hardly any submarines whatsoever. Not back like, in that World was the whole linchpin in this whole operation. Yeah, back in World War One, the United States had I don't even think we had subs back then, and if we did, we were still developing them. I mean, the Germans were the ones who invented submarines back in the eighteen nineties, so. Yeah, but they were also using uh, zeppelins and shit. I mean, yeah, that was really a very nice thing. They were, they were I using, just wanted to point out that they're yeah. still. That, I mean, they were that using effective. They were using zeppelins and shit though for like a lot of their bombing runs, like you know, like which around. weren't effective. Well, I mean, no, clearly they weren't because zeppelins? they still got their no. asses absolutely kicked. And they in. still tried. Oh fuck! I realized we're, we've still been going on here. So yeah. So hey, that's that's uh that's PFC after dark though, guys. We're gonna uh, end that shit there before. What you only doing like ten minutes? Yeah, dude, we're keeping it short. Just, uh, a, it's just, a, just, just a little blurb after it. But uh, yeah, if you guys like that, you know, drop us a like, leave us a comment if you think we're like. a whole bunch of autists. Uh, smash yeah, we'll, that like uh, button. Ten million. Smash likes. No, smash that dislike button. Do us a favor, okay? We will, uh, we will catch you guys in the next one. Me, me, me.